Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Top 5 Friday. I've been looking forward to this one. I just want to have a bit of fun with you guys. Um, there's going to be some of your favorite books on this list. I just want you to hang out with me and have a good time. Um, I mean, if you get mad, just be mad. Whatever. Uh, starting right off the bat. We're going to do two honorable mentions. I rarely ever do this, but this one's for my boy Prue. Uh, J.P. Pruitt always does two honorable mentions along with his top five, so I'm going to kind of harken back to him right now. Um, I will leave a link down in the doobly-doo to his channel. Okay, so uh, first and foremost, we're going to say, um, since our top five Friday topic of this week is top five scenes that ruined the entire book. We're going to go ahead and say spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. I will leave links down there in the doobly doo so you guys can skip ahead. So spoilers for Stephen King's It in three, in two, in one, the child orgy. I mean, we all know, we all know. Get back in there. Well. Not for Bev, but, yeah, I mean, for Bev, but, um, The Child Orgy, you see, I mean, there's over a thousand reviews for this, uh, for this book on, on, uh, Amazon, even more than that, on Goodreads, and all of the one-star reviews mention The Child Orgy. Now, it's a bunch of 11-year-olds, there's no in adults involved, but people are still just batshit bonkers crazy over this scene. Kids are going to experiment, this stuff is going to happen. I hate to tell you this, but I had my first sexual experience when I was 10. It happens. But anyways, um, as long as there's no adult involved, I'm not too bothered by it. Of course, I'm not sitting there, you know, imagining it hardcore. In fact, most of the time when I read the book, I just skip right over it. But most people get upset at that. Uh, next one is... Oh, I almost reached the wrong thing. We're going to go uh, recent. So, spoilers for The Institute. This is not a Stephen King thing list, but this is what I thought of while I was thinking of this topic. So, the spoilers for the Institute in three, two, one. There's some Trump references in here. There's a total of five political references total in a 560 page book. But people are actually getting stuck on the fact that he mentions Trump three times. One of them is for a picture on a good guy's wall. I repeat, a good guy, one of the heroes, kinda, has a picture of Trump on his wall. Yet there's two other comments within the book that, that say something bad about Trump, and there's one other political one that's kinda ambiguous, and there's one about Hillary Clinton, but people are saying that's ruining the entire book. It's whatever. So now, on to my list. On to my top five. And I have the list right here. Every other book on this list, I have, I'm going to have to throw up a ebook copy or cover, digital cover or whatever, except for this one, and we're going to start with this one. So, spoilers for The Abominable by Dan Simmons in three, two, one. Hitler was a pedophile. Um, the, the entirety of this book comes down to those couple of words. Hitler was a pedophile. So four words. Hitler was a pedophile. There's pictures in a, I think it's a lockbox, um, the people that the climbers stumble across. All the great shit they built up to in this book is completely ruined by the fact that the whole plot and premise of the book is Hitler was a pedophile. We already know the dude was utter garbage. We already know that he killed millions of Jewish people. We already know the man is the most devious scum of the earth, earth ever. There's some Nazis out there right now just typing furiously like, I, don't, I can't believe you. <laughs> but the, this book supposes that he was also a pedophile on top of the fact that he might have been into Scheiße. He might have been into pooping on Ava Braun. Um, he, he messed with children, so it, it just, it seemed like a very anticlimactic scene, is what I'm getting at. Um, it, did he mess with children? I don't know. I've never heard that before, so Dan Simmons just went all out and said, let's try to make Hitler worse than he actually was. Um, I don't think it needed that. I would have much more preferred, again, spoilers, 
spoilers, I would have much more preferred to see Abominable Snowmen than I would have messed with that whole Hitler side. And I know it's alluded to that there's actually Abominable Snowman snowmen in this universe it's kind of alluded to but it's never actually pinpointed and said yes they are so the rest of these books i don't have copies of because i literally got rid of them as soon as i read as soon as i finished them so uh the first one is final girls by riley sager i'm gonna put it right here um this book is dumb as hell i don't know how the hell it got the acclaim that it did there's one scene in here that ruined the entire book for me. The book is boring. Nothing really happens in the book until later on in the book. Um, it's pretty much just her baking and whatnot. Uh, but the scene that ruined it for me is there's a scene where the uh, investigating officer is talking about a homeless man being beat up in the, in the park. And spoilers in three, two, one... The main character has bruises and cuts on her hand from beating up this homeless man. But this dumbass detective never checks her hands. That blows my mind and it is one of the dumbest scenes in fiction I have ever read. That right there, I was like, I will never read another Riley Sager or Todd, whatever his name is. I will never read another book by him because if that one scene is that dumb... There's no way this dude can write a good book. So next up, at number, I guess, three, um, we are going to do The Cellar by Richard Lehman. So spoilers for The Cellar by Richard Lehman in three, two, one. There's a scene with a little girl who is molested in a bathtub, and it just ruined the whole book for me. Um, now, yes, it is disturbing, it's disgusting, it's all of those things put together in a big lump sum Again, I have much more problem with an adult having sex with a child than I will ever have with a child having sex with another child. Um, if that makes sense to you, that's fine. If it doesn't make sense to you, that's fine too. But that scene right there ruined the entire book for me. The level of detail that Layman goes into in that scene is uncalled for. Um, in fact, for that and Lolita, I wrote a response to it um, called The Betting of Boys. It's no longer available for sale, but I wrote a response for that saying, basically, let's see if I can get away with this if it is a female pedophile with a male child. And I, I did. People giving it four and five stars. Most people enjoyed the book. It has a very positive rating on Goodreads, and that's what I wanted to find out. Is there is there that really that double standard? Because you hear it all the time when uh, it pops up when uh, there's a female pedophile. You're like, where was that chick when I was young? And I, that disgusts me. It 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 makes me physically ill to just think think about it. But yet there are men who say that, um, and these are the same type of men who would go, "Ugh, that's disgusting." If a man was messing with a little girl, you might see a difference there. I do not. So moving on. Next up, we have Head Full of Ghosts. This isn't one scene. It's I, It happens over and over and over again. Um, I was going to put in the ending, but I'm going to leave it to the top five worst endings I've ever read. Uh, so spoilers for that video. Um, but in Head Full of Ghosts, every single one of the blogger posts is absolutely stupid. I mean, it, you read those and you just completely lose the thread of the story um, it's poorly written. Of course, it's supposed to be because it's, I guess, I guess it's supposed to be. Let me take that. Let me rewind that. It's supposed to be poorly written because Tremblay does not respect bloggers. If he does, um, then he has an odd way of showing it because the person writing these blogs is an utter fool. Um, there, there's no intelligent banter. It's just some Nimrod on a blog saying, hey, here's my thoughts about this thing that happened. Every single time the blogger popped up, I lost my train of thought. I, did, I couldn't care about the story. It's it, literally some of the dumbest shit I've ever read. Um, and I know there's people out there that love this book, that love Tremblay, and that's fine. You do you. But those blogger sections, not only were they offensive to me as a book blogger, at, at one point in time, I, I admittedly don't do it anymore, 
But to, to think that that's how he perceives, especially a female blogger, it, it bothered me. Um, but that's just me, um, and I'm sure there's plenty of women out there that go, it didn't bother me at all. I know at least three right now off the top of my head, Sadie, Steph, and Amanda, th those three of you that maybe watch this episode will go, I didn't find a problem with it. I did. You know, they completely ruined the book for me. So... At number one, at number one is the stupidest thing I have ever read in indie fiction, in uh, general fiction, in literary fiction. It is the dumbest thing that I have ever read, period. So, spoilers for Bird Box by Josh Mailerman in three, two, one. <sighs> the woman actually, like, bungee jumps with her umbilical cord out of a window. I can't. I, I'm just, okay. So what happens is these two women somehow sink their pregnancies like they're sinking their periods. These two women sink their pregnancies and they have the babies at the same time and one of them is the hero so you know she can't die so the other one you have to do something over the top and off the wall to make the ending of the book worth it. So she literally jumps. She literally jumps out the window. <laughs> and just, she's like, <laughs> she, she, the only thing I can think to tell you is she bungee jumps from her, from the umbil umbilical cord. <laughs> but she's hanging out the window by the umbilical cord. And <laughs> the, the issue with this scene, not only is there shards of glass that would have cut, the, I mean, you, you can cut through an umbilical cord with a pair of scissors. Any father knows that. So most mother, all mothers probably know that. Now that I think about it, all mothers know that. And she, but yet she's dangling out of this broken ass window by her umbilical. It is the stupidest thing I've ever read. Um, hands down, the stupidest thing. You just imagine her going, ah! And then, <laughs> she's hanging by her but You know what I'm saying. You know where the umbilical cord comes out of. It's stupid. It is the most asinine visual image I could muster. Um, but, so that is my top five completely ludicrous scenes that ruined books for me. I would love to hear from you guys what's your top five or any scenes that ruined a book for you. I would love to hear that from you. If you want to bitch about my choices down there in the doobly-doo, you can do that too. But I would much prefer to hear from you about the, the issues that you had with other books um, so that we can discuss them so I can possibly stay away from some of this ludicrous shit. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been in the Top 5 Friday. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!